Hello, Kulas. Welcome to Viva Barca. Welcome to another great night of magnificent football. Welcome to this special episode where we are going to be discussing on that magnificent performance in the El Clasico earlier tonight where we trashed Real Madrid four goals to two. What a game it was. I'm just short of words on how to describe that game. I think it was a statement victory from Xavi Hernandez and the players we are going to be discussing on that match review in this episode. So guys, as we get right into it, if you haven't subscribed, please don't hesitate to do so. Give the video a like and make sure to watch the video right up to the very end. Barca, Barca, Barca. Five consecutive classical wins for one of the two Spanish giants is a concept relatively unheard of. However, that was the situation heading into the game, you know, at the Santiago Bernabeu earlier tonight. Real Madrid had gotten the better of our team Barcelona in their past five meetings and aimed to make it six wins. Meanwhile, Barcelona entered that Clasico in great form for the first time in years. Barcelona were unbeaten in their past 11 games. Bearing all that in mind, the Clasico on Sunday was set up to be a special one. Xavi opted for a bold lineup on the night. Ronald Arago started at right back while Gerard Piqué and Eric Garcia covered the central defence. In midfield, Busquets, De Jong and Pedri continued their imperial partnership. Dembele, Torres I know, flanked um, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang in the final third. So, the game began with a, with a scale ever so slightly tilted towards the host. Real Madrid seemed so relatively dominate the opening minute and even had the first big chance of the game. You know, Fede Valverde's shot was well placed and only a diving save from Ter Stegen denied Los Blancos. At the other end, Aubameyang soon began you know, wreaking havoc. In the 12th minute, the Gabonese striker had his first chance of the night as he looked to get into the end of Dembele's cross, forcing Thibaut Kota to make a great save. From the 15th minute, Barcelona began to exert their dominance. The host looked puzzled and lost in the absence of Karim Benzema and Barcelona took complete advantage. You know, it was in the 29th minute that Dembele assisted Barcelona's first goal. After a dazzling run on the night on the right flank, he sent a perfectly timed cross that was headed in by Pierre Merico Bameyang. Barcelona soon doubled their lead through Araujo. In the 38th minute, the Uruguayan rose and connected with Dembele's corner before powerfully heading it into the back of the net. Barca ended the first half with a good performance, a two-goal lead and a massive chunk of confidence. If the first half was paradise for Barca, then I think the second half was utopia. Barca got off to a dream start to the second half when Ferran Torres scored in the 47th minute. The move stemmed from a lovely pass to Aubameyang who showed immense po um, positional awareness to pass it to Torres. The Spanish winger blasted the ball past um, Thibaut Couture and make it three goals to nil. The fourth goal was a story of its own, an intentional pass from Frankie de Jong found Torres who laid the ball to Aubameyang. The striker lobbed the ball over the Real Madrid goalkeeper but did not celebrate as the offside flag went up. Upon VAR review, it was revealed that the play was fair and the goal counted. 53 minutes in, Barcelona were dem demolishing their aggravers Real Madrid by four goals to nil. Carlo Anzolotti tried bringing in all his numerous resources off the bench, but it was in vain. Barcelona's defense was rock solid, I must admit, and Real Madrid still in the shock of going four goals down. Memphis Depay, Gavi, and Adama Traore were Xavi's substitutions, and they made positive impacts on the game. Barcelona slightly lost control of the game in the 80th minute, but regained it rather quickly. With this win, I think Barca are now, I think, within 11 points of um, Real Madrid with a game in hand. The title race may be over, but Barcelona passed their reality check and did so with flying colors. So I think with this game, it's fair for anybody to say Barca is back. That is the big statement, guys. We are back. This game says it all. The performance was clear. Of course, we know we had some off moments maybe towards the end of the game. But Barca dominated the game from start to finish. 
I think this is a statement win, as I just said in the beginning of this video. And sometimes when I watch this game, I ask myself, what if Ronald Koeman was sacked earlier this season? What if Xavi was brought earlier this season? Will Real Madrid be competing for La Liga alone? Will they be doing so on their own? I don't very much think so. But Barca could have been hunting them down really, really seriously. I think we have every single right to be happy about this team right now. Xavi is doing a wonderful job, a magnificent job. And that tells a lot about how next season is going to look like. Because we are seeing a formula, we are seeing... Uh, a, a philosophy of Barcelona that we have been looking for for many years. Gradually, we are seeing it. And it's very evident at this very point in time. So, from the way things are right now, finishing second is, is very clear. Because Sevilla dropped points today, I think, against Real Sociedad. So, Barca need to play their game in hand. I don't know when, but if they, if they win the game in hand, you know, then we'll be second. We'll overtake Sevilla. So, hopefully... Things work out that way, but for the league title, it's gonna be it's gonna be very difficult because the the gap is really huge. Except Real Madrid lost three games, which I don't see that. I don't. I think most of us don't see that coming, right? Was the league? I think La Liga have just nine more matches left. We don't see Real losing three of three, except a miracle happens. Then Real lost those three. Then Barca wins all the nine matches. Then that's when we can even think of winning La Liga. But for now, we cannot even think about that but i mean guys let's appreciate let's appreciate the performance today it's awesome it's magnificent it's wonderful from start to finish Barca dominated every single aspect honestly speaking some few weeks back i couldn't have realized i couldn't have even think about you know Barca being in this form currently in this very point in time I thought that maybe it's next season that we start seeing this kind of performances on a consistent basis, but Xavi has proved me wrong. Guys, it's going to be interesting to see Barca in the future. A team that competes again, a, a team that knows what they are doing. I mean, the spirit that Barca started the game with today is, is second to none. Like, Careless about if they are playing away from home. Careless about if Real Madrid is a is a big club, whatever. One good thing is they never put all those things on their mind. And that is what motivated them to the game. Yes, some people might argue that, yes, Karim Benzema, who is their key player, was not there. But even if he was there, we could have still dominated. We could have won. But yes, one might argue that the scoreline might be not the same, 4-0, whatever, but we could have won. But because because of the mentality that Barca came in with this, in this game is far superior to Real Madrid. It's very clear. So kudos to the team. Hopefully, we end this campaign in such a grand style. The Europa League is still alive. And of course, Barca is the favorite to win that league. We hope with these performances consistently, they will win it. I'm really proud of the boys and I hope you guys are all proud of the team. Visca El Barça, Visca El Catalonia, forever Barça. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you did enjoy the video and also hope you did subscribe. If you haven't, make sure to do so. Until next time, it's bye for now.